And Scott Phillips from The Motley Fool is here. Morning to you, Scotty. Um, as a whole, the, the economy has recovered really well, yeah. better than we were hoping. Um, that fears, though, that some Victorian businesses won't cope, may not even survive here. We're talking about an extension of the lockdown, but how do you target support? Will there be any support for these businesses? No, spot on right questions, Matt, and good morning. The real challenge, of course, is how do you target a really short lockdown to just those businesses that need the extra support? Probably the hospitality businesses in the CBDs are at the most risk because no one's going to the office, no one's going to town. So those are the ones that are going to come under the most pressure. We're hoping a really short lockdown is OK. For some, unfortunately, it will be the last straw. That kind of, you know, we've got through one, we've got to, through two, got through three, can't go or fourth, and that's the big risk. For well, the guys. CBD will be a ghost town, and it's yeah. easy for people to say it's only seven days, a short lockdown, we can't target support. But for a lot of these small businesses that we've spoken to, in fact, through the week, uh, the lost produce, um, the loss in income is enough to drive them to the wall. It is. Again, if you're already struggling, you, you know, if you just mental health issues, when you get to that point of, like, can I take any more? Some people just go, lock the doors, give the keys back to the landlord and say, I just can't do this anymore. And that's the absolute tragedy of this next lockdown. Um, this is not more good news. <laughs> Millions of workers could be weeks away from getting a pay cut but be unaware of it. Uh, yeah. This is a little tricky. Part of the government's changes to superannuation payments, an increase to compulsory contributions, mm -hmm. which will kick in, uh, I think, in July, yes. will come up from 95 to 10%. How, how will that affect take-home pay packets? So for most people, it will mean there's no change to take-home pay because we get a bit of extra on the top. But some people who sign contracts with employers for fixed dollar value contracts. Let's say you've signed a $75,000 a year contract with the boss. The boss says, okay, well, your total number's that, including super. I'm going to increase your super, but cut your take-home pay. Now, we hope that doesn't happen to too many people. I'll steal Bob Hawke's line. He said in 83, anyone who sacks a worker for staying home during the America's Cup is a bum. Anyone who cuts their employees' take-home pay because of the super increase, I'll say it right now, National TV, is a bum. They shouldn't be doing it. They sh hopefully won't do it. If they do, you're probably working for the wrong boss, unfortunately. Well, I think there might be a few of those bums around Australia looking might. at how this plays out, but <laughs> yeah. uh, you're spot on there, Scotty. Um, a win for an Aussie icon, a Cooper sale. Exactly. Let's, talk, let's talk some positive news. Uh, you that on. brought one in, and don't Absolutely. you look sublime in it just quietly? No one's ever called me that, Matt. No one ever will again, but thank you. I'll well, no, and I stand by it, actually, <laughs> young man. You could be an ambassador. There we go. What is go Give me a call, Cooper. What's going on here? They're, they're enjoying a renaissance. Their best sales in 40 years, if you can believe that. Back since the days of the man from Snowy River, from Crocodile Dundee, from the great white shark, Greg Norman, putting in an Akubra, they're having their best sales. We're all staying at home, we're travelling at home, we're spending at home, we're getting out in the bush. Even Natalie Portman sported this week wearing an Akubra, by the way. So I'm me and Natalie, we're on trend, apparently. And you're very much on trend, <laughs> uh, very much on trend, and I expect you to do your remainder of the segments uh, here on Weekend Sunrise in that hat uh, for the rest of the year. The producer may say no, Matty, but thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Scotty, thanks. Great to chat. Oh, mate.